artificial effect. In photography, exposure is the total amount of light allowed to fall on the photographic medium during the process of taking a photograph. From a chemical perspective, exposure is based on how long, how strong, or how toxic the chemical is that you come in contact with. Whereas on the political and sports scene, Tiger Woods endured unfair exposure by those who he thought were his friends as well as his competitors. And Reed received unfair exposure because of the underachievement of Michael Vick and the soon to be dubbed Dream Team. Uh, Herman Cain experienced unfair exposure when his past was pasted on the world wide news. So, Texas Republican Ron Paul said it is unfair to characterize him as an isolationist. And just the other day, a Durango High School senior claims unfair censorship after her peers on the yearbook staff decided that her photo was not appropriate to use as a senior portrait. All these mentions receive unfair exposure. Where every now and then God allows us to go through some things that just ain't fair. And when we go through those things, it leaves us in a state of bitterness uh, because we know that the exposure that we endured was unfair. Is there anybody here who ever had some unfair exposure? It turned out to be somebody who was closest to you who wanted what you had and they were willing to do whatever they had to do to tear you down to bring themselves up. Uh, unfair exposure has been around since the beginning of time. People have been saying all manner of things about everybody since it was a book. But just because they have been said does not make it right. Unfair exposure has broken up a minute happy homes. Unfair exposure has torn down a minute prosperous churches. Unfair exposure has caused a lot of folks to lose major jobs. Unfair exposure has put you on front street when you didn't to be on front street. Yeah. Every day that we live, you might as well get ready for it. If you haven't experienced it, one day soon, you're going to encounter unfair exposure. Now the name Genesis means beginnings or origins and it gives an account of all creation it tells of the establishment of a family and uh, the origin of sin and the divine revelation and the inauguration of God's plan of redemption through his chosen people. And there can be little doubt about the authenticity of this book, uh, which is uh, one of the books of the Pentateuch, which are the first five books of the Bible. And it was written by none other than Moses, who was the youngest son of Amram and Jacob, being born in a time when Pharaoh was ordering the destruction of every newly born Israelite son. Moses was placed in a floating basket by his mother and soon rescued by Pharaoh's daughter and adopted as her son. Moses' name, when translated, means grown out or taken out of the water. Moses lived for a period of 120 years. The first 40 years he learned how to be a somebody living in Pharaoh's house. The second 40 years he learned how to be a nobody watching over his father-in-law's sheep. The third 40 years he was the leader of God's chosen people. Moses lived for a period of 120 years. He died in the plains of Moab where he's kissed to sleep there by the angel of Moses, he knew that if the Lord said God would do it. And Moses also was well acquainted with unfair 
exposed. Now the Bible is honest. As it confirms that no person is sinless. Not even Christians who seem so sanctimoniously religious at times. And in our text we have Noah who provides a pattern of streaking and splurge drinking. And as a result, he did it in a time when there were no rules established for such a thing. But now, uh, if you understand what I'm saying, uh, today you got to understand that we won't hit the points where it's convenient. But we're going to hit points where there are reminders in place in the word of God to let you know that what you do at home is at home. And what you do in private is in But yet God sees and knows but it's not on us or you to go and expose somebody because it's on your agenda. Then he opened up the door. 
The same one who allowed God to use him. Mm -hmm. Now he was the last one, him and his family, alive after the flood that lasted for 40 right. days. Good. This is the same Lord. Good. The same one who was the first one that God used after all was destroyed mm -hmm. all right. to put things back in all. And if I could just run ahead, this is the same Lord who chose the perfection of being a farmer. And he planted a vineyard. Uh, he planted a vineyard. Uh, it is apparent that first of all, by him planting a vineyard, that Noah had the gift to grow. Amen. Amen. Second of all, it's kind of strange that he planted, planted a vineyard. It, it kind of gives a signal uh, that the brother had a previous problem, and it confirms to us that we all got some problems that God does know we have. And, 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 and he, God already knew he had this problem before, you know, he wiped everything out, but Noah had more good in it than bad. Go ahead. The brother done, done been used to T.J. Swan and, and Easy Days and Mellow Nights and he done Red Dog and Black Dog and Thunderbird and, and, and he done all! Oh. <laughs> now, oh, he done rolled in a vineyard. I got some great, black, great, damn heart. In first harvest, you apparently knew how to hook this stuff up. He just got back on land and he done planted a crop, got the crop in, and got his first stuff permeating in his distillery and now he done went by and tested this stuff and he done got him a couple of 40 ounces and took to the house and kicked the window open and, and laid back on his own bed in the privacy of his own tent and got it going on. I imagine he done turned the game on the table and he was looking and checking everything out. He was chilling in his own And don't y'all misunderstand me, I've never been drunk. I don't even want to be drunk. I have seen enough senseless and depraved activity conducted because of alcohol that I no longer want to be associated with even drinking wine at a meal. And there is no human or humor about slurred speech, impaired balance of poor coordination, and red flush eyes and faces, uh, the reduced inhibitor where you can't have nothing but erratic behavior. I don't see anything funny about taking on the road and endangering the lives of those around me because of your indulgence and intoxication. I think that is selfish. Get at home. Get at home. Get at home. No. Laying on a silly pasta pitted mat. No. Got his sheets at home. The text says that Noah got home, then he drank wine, and then he got drunk. Yeah. Noah was home. He drank some of his own wine, and he got drunk. Say he got drunk. Go ahead and say, I got drunk too. <laughs> But y'all been there. 
You was at home. Close your door. Bible says here, the man, the father of Cain, which was middle boy. You don't know those middle children sometimes have issues. <laughs> but sometimes they suffer with pity and where I can get in. Sometimes. I didn't say it every time, but statistically it shows that the middle children have always been prone to a little bit of drama. Right here, that ham, the father can saw the nakedness of his father. I'm just shocked. First of all, he was at home. He was in his house, in his room. He ain't had no business in the room in the first place. And when he went in, I believe he helped the sheep. Come on, man. His dad. And then, he didn't realize one day he gonna get old and look like that down there too. Lead 
You got to understand that nobody here is exempt from sin. Amen. We all have some stuff on our resume. Go ahead and give God a shout of praise. And only by the grace and the mercy of God are we able to overcome our unfair exposure. Do you not understand that it was unfair exposure when God sent his only begotten son down through 42 generations? Do you not understand it was unfair exposure when he had to come on the scene and show us how to love God when we were still so unlovable. Do you not understand it was unfair exposure when he had his disciples with him and he found out that even though he done gave all he had it, he still had a hook and a crook hanging out of sitting at the table with him. It was unfair exposure when he said, I got to go to talk to my father, but I need y'all to watch while I pray. But when he came back, they were all sleeping and they couldn't watch just a little while while he prayed. Do you not understand? It was unfair exposure when he was walking by the sea of Galilee when he looked up and saw those who had been out crying and met all night long who told him of all people we've been out fishing all night long and we ain't caught no fish but Jesus said if you want to catch some fish you got to lunch out in the deep and pass your net over the other side so you know when it went by a pool called the best where a man had been there sick for 38 long years and he asked him a question do you want to be a made whole and yet the man said I've been here all this time and I ain't been able to get in by the water was agitated by the angel of God it was unfair exposure but God already knew what he had to let one captain uh, go free and put him up with a man named Barabbas and he said, which one would you have us to set free? It was unfair exposure when the people cried out of Barabbas and it was wrong when the people out there in the crowd went over and knocked down the mother of Jesus and tell her to shut up they called this man to be plain the Son of God. It was unfair exposure when they put him, uh, yes they did, uh, under the load. 